Hey, welcome back to another episode of My Garage, where I don't know what I'm doing, but you can almost bet I'm going to do it anyway. Today, what we're going to do is I'm going to swap out this headlight for this one. Don't mind the yellow paint. I'll take it off. No worries. Um, it was either spend $104 on, or about a hundred, little over $100 on the wiring harness to get, or just go to the scrapyard and get uh, two headlights, 70 bucks for two complete headlights. I'm gonna do that. Um, I saved you the boring hassle of watching me remove the grill that's held in by a few T25s. The headlight is also held in with two T25s on top, a 10 millimeter, two 10 millimeters. This one just so happens that it broke all the snot. Uh, we'll get this guy out of here so there's nothing even the wiring harness is the only thing that's been. Uh, dee -dee. And that's just a plug on the back side of the headlight because I can't see it. I can see it too here. Yep. Look! Not prepared again. Imagine that. I'm just going to use a screwdriver here to undo the wiring harness. Break it. That's always good. There we go. Now we. Oh, sheepers. <laughs> Going in is going to be a lot nicer because everything actually is there. Well, there we go. There are supposed to be... Well, you see where they kind of fixed it there? And kind of fixed it there. Are supposed to be that guy and that guy where you bolt it to the where you bolt it to the front of the car. Um let's see am I going to take yep while we're here now let me put this here To change the headlight bulb itself, depending on which one you do, on this this is a 2007 Volkswagen Passat, by the way. Take these little rubber caps off, and you'll have your headlight right yonder. Just twist it whichever way, pull it out. And you just, I don't know if you can see it, but the wiring harness on this one has shot the snot too. That's why I'm changing them. These head I hate. These style of headlights, you can't touch the bulb because it'll burn out. Uh, I gotta gingerly somehow. I hate these because <laughs> you normally want to just grab the light itself. No, don't do that. Somebody's gonna tell me, What are you doing? You're doing that wrong. Perfect. You're probably right. Where are the gloves? Yeah. There we go. I'm on. A little bit. Yeah. Is that even the one I wanted? Probably not. <clears throat> I'll we'll grab this one. And it was not. But if I remember correctly, I think they're both H11s. So just to be safe, let's grab the right one because you know how we do things around here. Always, always the goofed up way. Yeah, I think they're both the same. I'm here to tell you what. These uh, headlights, they are proud of the price of them. Man, I was going to get... Oh, there we go. I was going to get just a regular... Let's see. 
Oh, this is an H. It's hard to see, but on the back side, on these back side of these lights, it'll say back here what it is. This is an H7. This one. They're both H7s. Hmm. Didn't write it. I looked it up and it told me H11s, but what the heck do I know? I ain't very smart. Okay. This way. And there is a right way and a wrong way to put it on because they'll have this little tang sticking up. Ah, you can't see it. See right there? I have that little tang sticking up, and there's a flat spot on the light here with a little tang sticking up. Put it on there like so. Don't touch the headlight. And then, oh, we might end up, oh. Nope, that's how it's supposed to be. Oh, that is weird. Hmm. I'll just stuff it back in the hole and put it back in the same way that it came out. And we are in business. So, because when I grabbed this one from the yard, I didn't grab my rubber caps to put on, so we'll just use those ones off the old one. Since the old ones were all broke to hoo-ha, we will use an extension. Well, we don't need that. Let's get you in here. Mm -hmm. Right back here, there's a retaining bolt here. And hopefully you can see there's one down in here where those brackets were broke off on the headlight that we got to take off. Well, I'm going to use an extension anyway. This one's overkill, but mm, if it works, it works. It's funny, I took my brother down here from the great state of Michigan, and he says, hey, look. Does your headlights have those? I was like, or no, he told me they had those on there, but I wasn't the one paying attention. Yeah, here I am supposed to know what the holy smokes I'm doing. Okay. Well, in the other one, you can't, without having to take the bumper and everything completely off, I will get a 10 millimeter wrench. Dun, dun, dun. It's either a 10 millimeter wrench or a socket. And if you know anything about anything, which I don't know nothing about nothing, makes things makes my life more interesting. Ten millimeter is the most lost. Huh. I just realized something. I am probably going to have to remove more of the bumper cover in order to get that in. Great. Well, I guess we'll take you along for the ride since I don't edit my videos. Let me see if I got a ratchet wrench, I think I do.
have no clue. Because I'm a dumbass. That's, oh, that's better come out there. That's just, uh. we get too far, I guess. Most likely I'm going to have to pull the complete bumper all the way out. Watch your peepers. Well, I'll be dipped. Oh! <laughs> Don't listen to that. Stay tuned to part two because I'm a I'm a dinkus.